everybody. I am Jumai Shaba. Welcome to Discovery Plus 234. I am Manny Estien. When Alternative Soul was not exactly the in thing in Nigeria or deemed as super cool, our first guest kept his cool, did not compromise, and now he's the face of numerous billboards and has huge endorsement deals to his name. <laughs> Please join us in giving a warm Discovery Plus 234 welcome to Bas Idakula. to be asked again you know to to speak at is actually the Africa Business Conference uh, in, in Harvard and on a panel for entertainment and uh, for me it just shows that listen people are looking for what we're doing first of all and people are not looking to maybe popular culture they're looking for how are you able to stand out with your craft how are you able to create a niche how are you able to do that and still succeed you know those are the things that people really want to find out and for me it's just you know really exciting and validation that you know even if the path is really hard you know you just keep you keep on you stay on the path and you just keep churning out what you can churn out today's story is about senator naja mohammed she's a change agent and has been helping her community through her hard work Women should never think that it, will, it is an easy ride. The ego in men will never allow you just to get power on a platter of gold. That the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria has given us equal rights. I want to take advantage of that equality. So I fight for it. And I encourage them to fight for it. And in spite of our handicaps, having children, having to pay our school fees, having to fend and look after the family. A lot of men have abandoned the women. So we have to be father, mother, politician, trader, daughter. I have to be all in all, all in one. The thing I'm trying to say is that all you need to do is put a double effort. One of our guests moved to Nigeria and has since then impacted the lives of numerous Nigerian performing artists for over 10 years. I wish I would have gone through it and been able to give more. If we want to give, we need to train, and we need to be educated, and we need to become an overall person. The success was that I did not give up at that point in time. And I said, that performing arts center will be built and people will come from all over the world. But why? Because I am educated to know well enough how to bring the message for the ask. And I think that's the most important thing, is that the more you educate yourself, you, nev you never stop opening your books and go to school and learn what is the secret that makes the world go round. And now to find out what young Nigerians are talking about, let's go straight to our youth report. Hello again, and welcome to Discovery Plus 234. I'm Maryam Ahmed. The government should enforce girl child education well what we have for the government is for government to allow us to participate in every aspect like the political aspects sports and others they should also regard us because they are under underestimating our ability and here is the award-winning superstar bears with the acoustic version of stupid song and you know Amina, Amina Tara, she's a lazy girl now, lazy girl now, played a stupid song from the days when we were young, everybody sing along, everybody say oh oh, played a stupid song from the days when we were young, everybody sing along. Everybody say, now everybody say, ooh. 